to the marriage of true minds, admit impediments. Love is not alter, which alters when an alteration finds, or bends with the remover to remove. Oh no, it is an ever fixed mark. This looks on tempest and is never shaken. It is a star of the wandering bark, whose words unknown, although his height be taken. Love's not time's fool, though rosy lips and cheeks. With his bending sickle's compass come, love alters not with his brief hours and weeks, but bears it even to the edge of doom. It is be error and upon me proved, I never writ, nor no man has ever loved. Kiss your bride. Me and my sister Katie have been pretty close since the day she was born because when she was born, um, she had a shared room with Jill. So I got my own room. Pete and Danny shared a room. Jill and Katie shared a room. I got my own room. So it was like, I love this kid. Yeah, anyone who knows my brother knows how frustratingly difficult this man is. <laughs> I saw Ed and Katie together. I knew they were made for each other. They just bounced off each other like, uh, you know, ping pong players. Uh, which is weird because Ed doesn't show emotion for people and he was showing emotion while speaking to her. Now, it, he only shows emotion for three things, people. Lord of the Rings, Braveheart, sports. So to see him having fun with a human being was just strange. <laughs> I want everyone to know, this is very important, that Katie is not only one of the nicest, kindest people here, she's also a brilliant, brilliant person. My sister Jill is still complaining to my parents that she's not allowed to watch Dirty Dancing. <laughs> Katie, however, his favorite movie from three to about seven was Coming to America. <laughs> to the point where every night before we ate dinner, my dad would be like, shut up, shut up, Katie's gotta do her thing. And Katie would say, like in the movie, to the bride and groom. Then we'd all cheers, milk and whatever else, drink, and then we could eat. So, we might as well start this party off by saying to the bride and groom, 
I love you both. I think you guys are going to have a wonderful life. Congratulations.